Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker as I take to the seas yet again in our exploration quest. Four more sections of the map remain. Four more little, little places to do. In fact, we've managed to pick up a lot of the treasures now, judging by the big red markers around, except for that top left area where there's none, it's clean. So we're getting closer to finishing the game, you could say. Picked up three heart pieces last episode, so we can be... Well, we're actually able to pick up... Oh, come on. I killed all of you last episode. Why are there more of you? We're just going to do the dodging routine on these guys. So there's a possibility we can... Oh, no, I don't... Pay attention, Sam. We could get a 15th heart this episode, so that'd be great. Apart from that, it's just exploring new terrain, dodging sharks, as we do for a living. Oh, my God. He hit me, but nothing happened. That's fine, then. I don't care. As long as I don't die, that's, that's fine. More exploration abound. So this looks like some kind of weird... Well, it's got a flag. Looks like a start line, if anything. Look over there. Blooming hell. Full of enemies. Map fish, tell us what's going down. We only have to give you three more bait after this one. Yes, brine my face up. You artist extraordinaire. The boating course. So it is definitely some kind of star line. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using R to make your boat jump well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt left or right to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know, why don't you try it out? And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, that's my policy. Anti on into the limo. Goodbye. And I jumped off the boat because I was trying to skip this text too fast. Right, so we can, we can jump and fast turn. Okay, I get you. We'll just walk into this wall, though. Hopefully there's blue chew. Or other hidden stuff on this island, apart from what looks to be some kind of race course. Hello, guy. Ooh, bombs. There must be a blue chew. Look near the trees, Sam. Blue chews appear near trees. They love trees. Or maybe not. If I was a blue chew, where would I hide? Probably on that island. The island that I'm not going to be able to get over to. Hello, guy. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So what do you say, kiddo? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? Well, what's the reward? Tell me the rules. Well, I ain't that good a talker. But here it goes. Now listen up. The deal is you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water and see how many rupees you can bring to the finish line within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you got to watch out for. The ones that float on their sides and the ones that float upright. You can get the rupees above the barrels floating on their sides by just sailing right over the barrels. But if you run into the barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You know you can press R to jump your boat, right? Yeah, well, to get the rupees over the upright barrels, you got to jump with R. It's the only way. Barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch that wind gauge behind your boat real careful like. Oh, and one more thing. If it time runs out before you finish, you lose. So watch the timer too, will ya? Them's the rules. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? What do you say? Well, to be honest, it sounds like this is a game for rupees and not a game for hearts. I pay I pay rupees to get rupees. But we'll give it a go. All right, then go down to the start line. From which side? Okay, you're going to actually place it. That's cool. We've got an actual area. We get four minutes. Okay. No one's roughing us up, that's for sure. Two there, and a yellow rupee to jump. Cool. So, there's no wind issues, you could say. But, you've kind of got to go the way of the arrow to get the rupees. And it's... I probably should be, like, using the L rather than... God, I'm, I'm losing... i got to turn sharper, haven't I, all the time. Hup. Well, I'll just get the yellow ones. That's fine by me. Have I got to get all the rupees in the time limit? Is that what he said? Because I'm, I'm up on my rupees at the moment. Oh, it's exploding barrels. That's just rude. Is 
<laughs> escape! Do not claim my life that way. Right, here's another yellow. Well, I'm up on my rupees a fair bit. Quickly, quick turn! Thanks for that tip, Mapfish guy. <laughs> Just doing both. We've got a ton of rupees at the moment. A random fleet of seagulls just went past. There's 20 rupees here. And a final green, and that's the finishing line, yes? That would be the boat race, I guess. You got 135, remaining time 2 minutes 13.74, so it's like a race plus money. And it's cool that it's like an ending screen like that as well. Oh, way to be! Alrighty then, here's the 135 rupees you collected, as I promised. They're all yours, enjoy, kiddo. Looks like you made a fortune. Come back and do it again sometime. So yes, this is a rupee game. So I can get much of rupees, but not much in the way of, uh, you know, stuff. Apart from rupees. No heart pieces, no nothing, so that means... Continue onwards! Fair traveller. This place was not as rewarding as we would think. So we nearly have enough money for two trifles charts again. I think two are what we miss, isn't it? The boat one and the one in the top right. So we should be set for money from now on for the rest of the game, unless we want to buy something else, which I think we actually do need to do. Please don't look at me like that, it's scary. Well, I was going to shoot you, but now I'm not bothering. <laughs> I seem to have got straight past you, so I'm kind of happy with that now. Chase me all you want, you're not going to catch me. So with the location over there of our next dungeon, or at least the start for the quest chain that will take us there, we're going to go straight past. We've only got three more blocks to explore. We're going to have the advent of exploring the entire map, if maybe not actually visiting several of the islands because of entry requirements, criteria. They need to stick like enemies in amongst these barrels as well, because you get these barrels pretty easily left and right. They need to stick an enemy to like jump out and bite you. Ruin your rhythm. And the rain starts to pour. And the thought of that occurring becomes ever more likely. What is that over there? Are they just old oh, cannon ships. I wonder what you were. We're just going to head straight over the Mapfish guy. He's our friend. And yet another archipelago, or whatever you would call it. A lot of birds on top. We stop you, barrel exercise. We need some Mapfish information. There's a heart piece here, though, is the interesting thing. We, we can see it on the, on the heart piece map. Boys, more for our... Yeah, 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 okay, give us the stuff. Only two of you left! I count down not seeing you again, it's the same way I count down never having to see Tingle. Have you seen it, Small Fry? The ghost ship? Because it's real, it's even been seen here in these very waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror rises. Okay, that's cool. I know what you're telling us, I want to know what to do with this island. Oh, apart from shooting you in the face. No, we're gonna get got while I try not to use magic. Give me a golden feather as well, why don't you? So what do we have to do over here exactly? Is killing all the birds give me it? Oh, don't fire that. Give me anything special? I don't think it does. So there's a heart piece located here. Now these two cannon guys right next to each other do seem fairly suspicious. And then there's the platform over there. So there is a heart piece in this location. I need it. I want it. Uh oh. Don't blow myself up is the name of the game right now. 
Oh no! He's gonna get me! Haha, I gotcha! I killed the two of you. That still doesn't reveal anything nice so far. There's something down there though. Like a whole fleet of something. There's that there, that could be a place for a heart piece, but that down there is super interesting. Is that a submarine? That could be where the heart piece is, that's for sure. Excuse me guys, you're like the worst lookouts ever because you're just probably just going to let me sail up. You can't do anything about it after all. What's the point in putting you on rafts outside the sub, eh? The wooden sub that's probably as leaky as hell. Of course, all boats were made out of wood originally, but that's not the point. The bats in here as well, it sounds like. No, sir. Is that a water jar? Why is there a water jar here? Oh, I got sent flying. There's definitely a bat here still, somewhere. You can hear it. There we go. They're not coming down far enough for me to kill, that's for sure. Clever batties. Heart piece, give me heart piece now. Oh, I gotta light this. Oh no, it lit itself. Okay, cool. Heart piece, go! It better be. It better be. Yes, it is. You got a piece of heart. That's the fourth piece. Fifteen hearts. Thank you, sir. That was an easier heart piece than I thought it would be. The main problem was it just wasn't actually on the island area, if you know what I mean. It was further away from. Which means whenever I see one of those kind of like the five-star islands or anything like that, just ignore them straight off and go somewhere else. Seems to be the way to do things. Yep. Heart piece. 15 hearts. High school girls. Where are we going? Uh, Wind Waker time. We need to go north now. All these guys with their blooming... They're <laughs> looking through their seeing glasses and they're like, Meh, Telescopes, hey? We can't see anything around us now. He's just walked in on us, it's like, meh. I don't even know I'm here. Hi guys, I just hijacked your, your submarine supplies. It's, it's fine, you didn't need it anyway. Two more bits of land to uncover, only two. I thought those two guys next to each other would have been something special. They don't move, they're kind of... Seems like they're guarding something. Maybe maybe there's a treasure chart for it. We didn't get the treasure chart treasure for whatever's around here, so maybe that's exactly where it is. Don't crash, Sam. You're better than that. You proved it with a boat race when you got 135 rupees. Do 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 do. We pass into the last unexplored bit of terrain because, of course, this bit of terrain is the island itself for the second dungeon first dungeon, or whatever dungeon, a dungeon, it was for a dungeon. Something going on. There's a platform in the distance. What about, is that the island? Yes, that must be the island. That's got to be it, seeming Mapfish is around it. Mapfish, you're the last one who can give us useful information. The other one's probably going to yabble, yabble, yabble about the island over there. Come here, Mapfish. We need you. This is one of the... F Ooh, we got a treasure as well to pick up. Let's 
give it a go. Tell us everything you know, Mapfish. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart and information about this island. Start by opening your sea chart. Fine by me, sir. We've got Cliff Pateau Isles. Hey, small fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in there is to hit a switch that's way up high on the Forest Haven, but the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the goals by putting a little bait on your head. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Now we've that's some useful information, sir. The last one gave us some useful tidbits. What's, what, what's coming? Enemy? I heard an enemy. Now I've lost completely where I'm going. For some kind of treasure here, Cliff Plateau Island. We must be we must be near enough for this to start off now. Whenever we find it, one day. No? Nowhere? Well, I'm not near enough yet. I definitely am. I'm definitely very near. Unless it was for a Triforce part. Or I'm blind. Must be a Triforce chart then. Yes it is! Triforce chart 5! We just overshot it. <laughs> I love how the sharks are there like one second. La 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 la. Disappear. So we picked up our third Triforce part. Give us our Triforce part. We're nearly half full on courage. A Triforce shard. Now you need five. Now we need to explore this land. The last island that we can explore that we haven't explored. So you could say. This is simply a jump from pillar to post type of island, except the jumps themselves seem quite massive. Okay, we can't get up higher. There's a, oh, there's a Korok up there. Maybe this like fires up like a cannon? No? Oh! This place has its very own puzzle section that looks very dungeon-like. This is kind of crazy. So what does it want us to do? Get all the rupees or something? So he's got a rupee on every single top bit. There's a lot of plants ahead of us. Ah, I guess it it leads to better rupees as we go along. So it's it's just tantalizing us. It's probably Deku's. I don't think I can reach that chest probably. Yes. Beautiful. So, no one needs you here. You didn't even leave a bud? That's just rude. So I can get up here if I could climb there. Sorry ending your life. Occupational hazard for yourself. So you're hiding behind there. I can't get into that chest. So obviously you have to hit some things. Or just go around like a maze, but that doesn't look too possible either. Because that's fully enclosed, that one over there. One of them's got a launch me out, well surely. Ah ha ha ha! We have found it! Where are we launching to? Just up here? Cool. And then we jump along. Lovely job. We can drop down for a treasure chest, but we can also, using the fire arrows, do that. Though I think there was those little stalks along the way that we could have used. That's the way back out, I see. 
Oh no, that's a, that's a way of back out above us. Oh no, I jumped too far. How dare I do such a thing? I'm gonna at least get this treasure chest this episode. That's what's going to go down for sure. I don't think it's a heart piece. I don't think that was on the map, but all the same, let's just ever so gently link. Ever so gently. There we go. You can fall. That's cool. Nicely done. How do I get out? That for a joy pen? How do I get out? I didn't think about it. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think. Oh, good. You go away. That's 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 cool. Very polite of you. <laughs> I was a bit worried about that. Just for a second. So next episode, all that's left is for us to go and pick up our court companion and awaken him as the next stage, so to say. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Tune in next time for more, and I'll see you guys around. Cheers.